Okay guys, this is uncut, unscripted, and on the fly. But before I talk about my main topic here, I do want to let you know that as we speak, I am currently on my fourth DVD recording, or my fourth DVD plus R uh, recording of my DVR recordings, and you heard me right, recordings, of the series finale of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. The first one, to let you know, uh, as far as DVD plus R recording is concerned, is part of my Season 9 DVD set, which is, part of, which is the second disc. The second DVD plus R that I utilized was not only to put the finale on there, but also put A Decade of Pony on, which was the documentary that they aired uh, the day before. And then the third one was just the finale on its own. The one I'm working on right now is basically going to have the finale back to back. One recording and then another of the finale. And then if I have enough time, I'm going to put a decade of pony on there as well. But speaking of the finale, let's get into the topic of why I want to do this. Okay. So I did watch Dr. Wolf's uh, review of the first act of the finale, which is called The Ending of the End, Part 1. Now, obviously it seems that the way Dr. Wolf watched this was probably by the primetime presentation that was initially shown, but he probably also saw it after it was put on demand, which was the next day or a little after the encore presentation of the finale, the multiple encore presentations. And yes, in case you guys want to know, on demand, the not as one primetime series finale like it was aired. No. It's all the episodes individualized. So you have ending of the end, part one, ending of the end, part two, and the last problem. Now you have to ask yourself how they're going to do this later on down the line. I think what they got planned is they're going to air, if it's on the weekend, if it's on the weekend or even the weekday, they're going to air all the episodes back to back to back so that nothing is out of continuity, nothing is loose. So that's what I think is going to happen. They're going to air all three episodes back to back to back to kind of make sure everybody, you know, doesn't lose any kind of context. But anyway, Dr. Wolf brought up something that was very, very interesting. He, asked, he basically pointed out and asked a question, or even suggested something that he felt was more, could have worked more in the favor of, of the finale. And that is having it presented in a full-length film-like presentation. In other words, giving, by doing so, it would give certain moments and scenes and interactions and even dialogue between characters more time to develop, more time to shine, more time for the audience to take in. And I don't blame Dr. Wolf for thinking that. But again, he has to realize that pretty much, and I say this with all due respect, pretty much that's what we got on Saturday night. That's what we got three times on Saturday night, that's what we got two times on Sunday morning. Basically, the what Hasbro, DHX Media, AllSpark Animation, and Discovery Family did was basically compile the last three episodes into a series finale movie. That's what they did. I mean, when you think about it, if they wanted to go down the route of it not being uh, a movie, or given that kind of epic movie finale or movie-like feel, they could have done exactly what they're doing right now with it on demand. They could have just aired the episodes individually back to back to back, just like I mentioned, you know, on, that, on, on the 12th, on Saturday morning on the 12th, they could have done that. They could have just said, here's, at 8.30, they could have said, here's part one of ending of the end, ending of the end. At 9 o'clock, oh, here's part 2. At you know, 9.30, here's the last problem, and that's it. Show's over. Series done. 
They could have done that, but they didn't. They decided to give it the treatment and the respect that it deserves. So I say this, and again, I say this with all due respect to Dr. Wolf. For him to say that it would have worked better if they'd done the feature length film like presentation. Doc, you have to realize we did get that. We did somewhat, if not definitely, get that. Yes, it was a compilement of all the episodes into one deal. Yes, I will admit that. Yes, it may have felt like some things may have been skipped over. You know, some scenes may have been cut short. You know, some, or, you know, cut short by maybe a millisecond or, you know, a couple of seconds or whatever. But still, to, to say that it would have worked better as a movie, what do you think we got on Saturday? What do you think we got throughout the weekend? That's exactly what we got. That's why it felt, the, that's why people, you know, have, had, have felt the way they have. It's because it feels like they didn't just watch you know, a regular finale. They watched a finale that was given the treatment it was deserving of. You know, I said it before, I'll say it again. People have been wanting a My Little Pony, a sequel to the 2017 My Little Pony movie. Well, guess what? I believe that if you, because I thought about this with Rainbow Road Trip, because Rainbow Road Trip had the same animation style as the movie. But, but, if you take that aside, put that aside, and you put this in its place, this here, this finale here, is exactly the kind of sequel you would want. It's the kind of sequel you would want. Rainbow Road Trip, in my opinion, gave us an idea of what we could get G4-wise until we get to G5. That's the feeling it gave me. That's the feeling it gave me. That's... That's the feeling I got. Not just with it, but with Best Gift Ever. Those two specials gave me the feeling of, yes, this is what you can expect after G4 is done, because we know there's still more to go. I mean, Stephen Davis even said it himself when he acknowledged that, yeah, we got another movie coming. I mean, and there's more content to come. To me, Stephen Davis is saying, look, these characters aren't done. These characters still have a lot to give. And to me, I believe we're going to get something down the lines. I really do. Just don't know when, how, or where. But, again, to get back to the point here, I understand what Dr. Wolf is saying, even though pretty much we got that feeling, we pretty much got that uh, treatment of it being a feature-length film, basically a, a movie finale, a series finale movie, or movie finale for the series, even though we got that somewhat in the, the, in, the, uh, in the finale itself over the weekend, I understand what Dr. Wolf is saying. You see, Dr. Wolf feels that if, a, that if it was done in a true feature-length film-like presentation, like a directed television movie presentation, made for television, presentation, that made for television movie presentation, I should say, that we could have got more time with the characters, like Crystalis and Starlight's battle. You know, he talks about we could have had more time with that. And I get what he's talking about. You could have expanded, you could have expanded more on the battle scene, maybe the dialogue, maybe even have an acknowledgement as to the fact that Crystalis wants to get even with Starlight because she blames Starlight for turning her changelings against her and taking everything away from her. So, you know, stuff like that. And I can understand the whole, oh, well, they could have extended more on the whole situation with Grogar being Discord the whole time. Maybe even expand on the fact that, you know, not just, you know, the main seven and you know the princess is being mad but even maybe expand on the fact that Fluttershy could maybe chime in and say out of all the ponies here why didn't you tell me what you were planning to do you know you could trust me and maybe you could have discord say because I don't want to put you in danger because I care about you so much 
I don't want to put you in danger. You know, maybe maybe do something like that. Expand on why, as some people may point out, he never told Fluttershy. And maybe explain, and again, maybe use the dialogue of he didn't want it to get hurt because he cares about her so much. And maybe even add in the fact that if he would have told her, owner, he's afraid she would have told Twilight. Or something like that. Build, extend and build upon it from a character perspective. I can understand that. You know, even expand on the battle scene, the little fight scene that we got that allowed, you know, the rest six of the main seven to escape, expand on that and show how Starlight, Luna, and Celestia, and the Pillars, and Discord are captured again. Or recaptured. You know, do something like that. Oh, do something, you know, do stuff like that. And, you know, and, and, it, and it may work. And it could work, there's no doubt. So, I understand, again, where Dr. Wolf is coming from. Well, basically, there could have been a lot more done, uh, you know, with, with the finale than what it was had it been presented in a movie-like presentation or made-for-television movie presentation. Again, like I said, I can understand where he's coming from when he feels that if it was done in a made-for-television movie-like situation, a full-length film situation deal, that more could have been expanded on. And that even includes uh, the third and final act. I get that. That even includes the big epic battle that we had with the main six against the terrible trio, the Legion of Doom, as people call them. And then later on, the rest of the ponies and creatures that came together. I can see that. I can understand that. Maybe even have expansion on the flashback. I mean, one thing I thought about when coming up with doing this video in response to Dr. Wolf's first review of the finale was it would have been that I could see maybe where he's coming from when it comes to the flashbacks that we get when the student six are explaining how they got everybody together. You know, they're explaining, you know, yeah, all those lessons you taught us kind of paid off. And we see the flashbacks and I could see... I could see maybe in those flashbacks all the creatures after they get all the identical speeches given to them by the student six, by these uh, two um, uh, no-named uh, students of Twilight's of Twilight School of Friendship. Uh, I could see, I could see maybe if it was given that kind of a treatment, as Dr. Wolf puts it. I could see in the flashback all the creatures coming together, all the pony all the pony races coming together, and then maybe someone, whether it's Thorax or the Changelings, whether it's Sandbar or whoever, pointed out, wait a minute, isn't one of the villains that's on the loose, uh, the former queen of the Changelings who could shapeshift into anything she wants? And then there you go. You can have in the flashback a moment of realization of all the pony races realizing, oh crud, we've been duped, we've been manipulated to go against each other by this terrible trio. And there you go. So, so to me, I see where Dr. Wolf is coming from. But, as he did allude to, you're only, they will obviously... The creators were only allowed a certain amount of time to get in what they had to get in um, as best they could to give a fully developed finale or fully, uh, a fully, I, I guess you could say fully developed and decent finale in, you know, one last chance to save Equestria um, story. I can see that. And I can also see why and I'm sure Dr. Wolf will agree when he gets to the last problem, why, as Jim Miller put it, why they wanted to do an episode that was sort of a cooling period, if you will, a cool down period uh, for the characters after uh, the end of the, after the two part of the ending of the end. I can understand that and I'm sure everybody else can understand that.
and I'm sure he will as well. But yeah, there is a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of scenes through all three parts, three acts, if you will, that I understand what he's. That I again, I can see where Doctor Wolf is coming from. That could have used more expansion, more of an extension on what was happening. Heck, I even pointed out, you know, whether or not we just, you know, when Twilight at when during Twilight's crowning during her coronation, how she fell off the balcony and then flew back up either by the help of the birds or herself and she had the crown on her head, whether or not they skipped a scene by a millisecond, whether they skipped a millisecond of a, of a, of a scene or something like that, or shortened the scene by a millisecond or something like that, I'm not really sure. I have to go back and watch. Um, but, you know, overall, again, like I said, I understand where people like Dr. Wolf are coming from when they feel that presenting the finale in a movie like made for television movie feature length presentation would have been better off, would have been a better option maybe than just doing it this way. That way you don't feel like things are just rushed and crammed in. You give it time. I mean, he even mentions uh, the situation with, and I think Tricky Fox even brings this up, the situation with Turek and Star Swirl and how they could have easily expanded on their history a little bit, maybe had them confront each other dialogue-wise, whatever, extended the fight between the pillars. I can see that. I can understand that. But again, given the allotted time they were assigned to try to cram all this in or put it all in, one has to admit that they did a decent job. And again, in closing, I say this. To come out and say to come out and say that, you know, we, that we didn't, that, this, that we should have got a feature length film uh, presentation for the finale, a uh, movie presentation. Again, in closing, I say this with all due respect to Dr. Wolf, what do you think we did get during the weekend? What do you think we, was, we were given? We were given that exact same situation. We were given a movie like scenario when it came to the finale for the show. So, overall though guys, those are just my responses, that's just my response to Dr. Wolf's first review, uh, review of the first part of the finale. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. I know it may sound like a ramble, but again, this is uncut, on-fly, and unscripted. Let me know what you guys all think down below. Comment if you like. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Do you agree with Dr. Wolf's theory that maybe this would have worked better as a movie finale, a, a true feature length made for television movie finale or do you think we pretty much got that already when it was announced that all three episodes were going to be presented together in the way they were over the weekend. Let me know down below, comment if you like, I'd love to hear from you and I'm out.